Hi guys, it's Mark Zickery, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zickery of Space Command. I um, wanted to talk to you about an event I went to yesterday that was a, a sad event, but also a, um, a celebration as well. Uh, it was the passing of Gary Hutzel, the visual effects genius who oversaw Battlestar Galactica and Defiance, and, uh, and as well as other shows. And, uh, and we were there to, of course, you know, mourn his passing, but celebrate what he had accomplished in his life, both in raising a wonderful family and, and creating the high mark, the high water mark of things that were done in science fiction television. Uh, it's, it's amazing because, you know, my friends who are novelists, they like to sit in a room and, ha and create their own universe and they are generally solitary souls in a certain way. Whereas I and many of the people I know who work in television and film love the collaboration, love the surprise of working with other brilliant, brilliant people and having them come up with just amazing, wondrous things. And certainly Gary Hutzel was one of the prime movers of this. Uh, you know, you'd look at Battlestar Galactica and the, the level of visual effects was phenomenal. He won many Emmys and, and other awards as well. And, uh, and of course, working with him was the brilliant Doug Drexler, who is, again, another genius of this industry. And of course, Doug was there yesterday. Another, another friend that I saw was Ron Thornton, who, uh, who is, again, a genius of visual effects. He designed Babylon 5 and, and oversaw effects on that show for many years and also I first met him on Captain Power when he was the model builder and and he started talking about you know creating uh, visual effects spaceships and visual effects creatures and it was you know really the the cutting edge of what could be done back then so these and and you know and and so it was basically almost like a high school reunion yesterday of 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 those of us on the, both on the writing producing directing side and and the visual effects side uh, coming together to celebrate Gary's life and uh, and also just to reconnect with each other, it, because you know we uh, you know we we work on these shows, and uh, and it, and we share it with millions of people. But sometimes because now many of my friends have to shoot in Vancouver or or Scotland or you know the UK or wherever you know um, often it's rare that we we get to see each other. And so yesterday was also a a, a wonderful time to come together, and and remember the people we cared about and the people who did the work that we loved and also to reconnect with each other because time is precious and every day we have to let it, let people know that we care about them and that they mean a good deal to us and, and that their work has affected us as well and moved us and uh, there was a sense also something that I was talking to various people about when over you know at this event yesterday was how lucky we are to be able to share our dreams and our work with millions of people and entertain them and and move them and and sometimes even change their lives and uh, just as our lives were changed by Star Trek and Twilight Zone and Outer Limits and George Pal and Ray Harryhausen and all the the wonderful dreamers who didn't do it for the money and didn't do it for the 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 the, the, tra the prizes the the nice houses but did it because they loved it because they had something in their in their head that they wanted to share with the world and so uh, so yesterday it was so lovely to see. Ira Bear and Ron Moore and David Icke and uh, Mike Akuda and Denise Akuda, you know all these all these people who, sh who get it, who understand that it isn't about how much you're being paid. It's about what you can bring into the world and what you. It's, it, we're all magi magicians in a way. We're the same as George Melies, uh, in that in that sense that uh, that we want to create wonders and we want to also look at the world and comment on it. It's this great wonderful gift that science fiction gives us because I was talking to Ron Moore yesterday, and I was saying, I was um, complimenting him on what he did with Battlestar Galactica, and one of the things he did that I thought was very um, important was, at one point he had um, the, uh, the humans under Cylon occupation, and they're pushed to an extreme of becoming suicide bombers. And I said, you know, it would have been easy to have the bad guys be the suicide bombers and have them just be the terrorists and have them be the madmen, quote unquote, but then you don't understand what desperation or despair might be might be driving that and so it was an attempt to try and look through the eyes of the other side and try to understand it not justify it necessarily not excuse it of course but at least try to understand the the suffering heart and um and so and and, and ron was talking about how he was surprised that he didn't get flack from the network on that but uh, he said well maybe they didn't even know what he was trying to do you know like serling slipping things by the censors with twilight zone science fiction allows us to comment on our world and, and also step away and explore. It, it, it gives us a great opportunity to 
get at the heart of things by take, stepping outside our own moment and our own um, uh, culture and really look at it from a different different angle and perhaps come to an understanding. So uh, so yesterday was, you know, it was, I'm, I'm really glad I went. I wanted to pay my respects. And um, and it's just, uh, we're so honored to be able to have our work live on and have a, have the, have what we come up with reach out and touch others. Um, you know, it's important that we each of us have have a life and not just have work and not just have our dreams, but uh, but be loved by others and, and love people. So so in that way, Gary Hutzel certainly left quite a legacy for all of us, and uh, he'll be missed. But um, but at least uh, at least we can enjoy the brilliance that he that he left us. So that's really it for now. Just Mark Zikri, uh touching base, <laughs> chiming in, and uh, you know share these these Mr. Sci-Fi videos. Let people know about them, and we'll talk again real soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.